yes guys we are here welcome to williams ld channel i'm here today on the pineapple farm in evergreen manchester i'll be doing a little vlog on this farm today so journey with me as you see what i have in store for you guys Yes guys, so as you can see over here, they are planting, they are doing, doing some replanting over here now. I doubt any pineapple is here now. So, Let's watch and see if we can find any today. My two troubles are here with me. Dervanik and Dejane. Say hello. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Guys, we'll soon hear everything of or, or, or about the pineapple. Anyway, guys, I think over here is a nursery for the pineapple. They they um harvest some already, and here is what. They used to grow and then they transplant from over here. So stay tuned and watch what is going on. Okay guys, as you can see we have some here down on this side here. We have some lovely pineapple here. So um, just take a look and walk with me on the pineapple farm. These, this is a tractor, the plower they used to plow the, the land and plant the pine. So, see you guys, and these pineapple are very sweet. When I say very sweet, I mean it's very sweet. Eating this pineapple green like this, still sweet, it's not sour. So here, some pumping system. They have a river nearby, which they pump the water from and water the plants. So we have pineapple on the left, we have pineapple on the right. As far as I can see guys, we are seeing pineapple plant. Yes guys, so I am here again. Yes, this pineapple farm here is very huge. And guys, as you can see, these pineapple are the types of pineapple that the hedges on them they don't they don't stick you and these pineapple as a pineapples as I've said before are very sweet very sweet very nice to eat so just stay tuned and watch what is going on an interview will be coming up shortly so just kick back and watch what I'm going on Yeah. 
So guys, when you want your sweet, sweet pineapple, you know where to come. Evergreen, Manchester. And as I've stated before, people rush these pineapples because they are very sweet and they are so nice to hold. They don't stick you in your hands and so forth. So these are some small ones. Yes, some small ones are coming up. So it's journey with me. So here they are setting up the water system guys because what is down here as I'm going to show you shortly they have to use water from open source to water the plants and here is a greenhouse as well which has a lot of sweet peppers in there yes guys so you know just stay tuned, watch closely. So guys, this is basically the end of the farm. So I'm going down to the river now to show you how the water system sets up. So guys, here is the river, here is where they get the water from to water the plants. So come Nikki, this is his water supply system. This is, is his water supply system that he used to serve the whole farm with water so that's basically it for this part of the video yes guys so this is another greenhouse they're building they're constructing it so I don't know what they're going to put in there but go in there so they have three greenhouses in total Two is active, one is non active. So, in this one again, they have the sweet peppers. So, guys, they have a lot of trenches in the pine farm. These white things you see up, these white pipes you see up, is the irrigation system. Use them to water the plants. Yes, guys, so here is a young plant. This one is not Young. Why do you hunger? Yes, guys, this is how it looks when it is just farming. This is a green one. young one green one this can be eaten just the same it's very sweet but they rather wait until they're ripe to eat them so this one here is rotten as you can see some insect mangoes preferably eat eat it out and guys this farm is properly maintained and well kept so it's a nice farm very nice farm It's 
So here the, here's another one. It's green. Well big. Nice. Mm. Mm. They're and Dejane eating fine. Pineapple here guys. Very sweet. Mm. Very sweet. Yellow. Pretty. Mm. Nice. Taste and bow. Sweet? Yeah. Sweet? Mm. Really. Okay. Really? Mm. I have to give it us a big thumbs up. Say what? Give us a big thumbs up. You want, you want the guys to give you a big thumbs up on this video? Yeah. Okay. This guy, so. Here are some of the reapers. Leave a comment on the video. What what would you like to say to the guys, Johnny? Leave a comment down below. Okay. So you have some farmers here in the field. They are going to pick some more. Alright, no problem. I track it here. Yes, guys, so this one pineapple here is very nice, weighty, and it is sweet. Guys, that's how you walk through the pine through, through the pine farm with your hand on your head. If you're in a long trousers, then that's how you walk through the pine farm. It won't stick you or anything, you know, but that's how you walk through it. Yes, guys, so this one is ready to ready to reap. Yes guys, so I'm catching a practice now. Yes guys, so yes. Reaper. He's reaping some. Yes, guys, he is a boss. His name is Mr. Mack. He's going through to see if he can find some more pineapples. I've just asked him the biggest pineapple he has ever reaped over here, and he said it was 10 pounds. No, that's big, very big. Yes, guys, Dejane said I should be the sorrel. Yes, so here the soil. It's a little bit, but it can make a jog. Yes, guys, so this is the scenery. Here's Mr. Mark. Yes, sir. Um, question. How big is the farm? Pineapple farm? Yes, sir. About, about 50 acres of pineapple in too. Whoa. Mm. So how does you grow the pineapples? What inspired you to go in the pineapple well, farm? 
Farming is part of my DNA. Okay. From, from my birth, I have been in agriculture with my parents. Okay. Motherfucker, I had seen it as punishment once. Oh. But, um, it's a part of me, so I enjoy doing it. Okay. Um, pineapple is very lucrative, especially in the too. It's very sweet, very, very nice fruit. And um, it's an expensive venture. Okay. But the reward can be great if you're committed to it. If you get it automated, give it the right irrigation. Yes. The right nutrients, you will have um, some just fruit at the end of a year and a half. Okay. Long way to get Long money. way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in, in, in harvesting all of these pineapple. acres of pineapples, yes. What what give you the urge to say, all right, instead of sweet pepper, yes. pineapple? Well, the thing is with pineapple because it is such an expensive venture. Okay. You have less players in the market for MD2. Oh. As a result, the reward will be, I think, a little greater if okay. you are committed to it than um, doing sweet pepper. I can't do sweet, pe sweet peppers um, on such a large increase because okay. we may have a problem with the demand but the demand for pineapple is always there so um even with my equity rate it's still a drop in the bucket to satisfy the demand for pineapple right now okay so yeah. for the for the customers you have encountered with mm -hmm. um did they come back to you and say some or well, you sell me some bad pine or whatever did they even come back to you and say anything bad about the crop no, that no. you sold them well with the md2 kind of if you give it the right nutrients you'll have very very good quality um the customers that when they come back they are demanding more okay because the pineapple is extremely sweet yes it's not tangy persons who are allergic to the other pineapple can comfortably eat md2 pineapple so okay. the demand is is always there and my target market is is not the large supermarket or the big players in the market is really the higglers the higglers yes the person okay. who come everybody will come and buy two two thousand pounds a lot of them okay even though some of them trust and want to pay sometimes still but yes um, it's good to work with them because yes. you're providing them with the goods yeah. and they're always coming very short money short yep i i yeah. can see that because I came here from Sundays to Sundays and the crowd that I saw over here, yeah. you know, it's kind of bigger than some grand market yeah. to say. Right. And the pineapple yeah. is a different type of pineapple as I can see. Right. The spore on the pineapple, yeah. it is not rough, it is kind of smooth. Yeah, yeah. This, they, 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 this don't have the prickle on it. Okay. Yeah, so um, it's very, very smooth and um, easy to to handle okay but these pineapple need nutrition every 14 days oh yes um so you have to pay for it uh. but it, if you have the right implement we have the boom sprayer and the tractor that does the, the reaping okay boom sprayer that does the spraying mm -hmm. and um the land prep and everything so what i try to do even though we have this large acreage is just a few guys that work with me okay it's really slow growing and if you can have good weed control, yes. you can have a 14 days, yes. you can it in properly. We, we, we spray in the night, we, we give the plant the nutrition at night, not okay. the day. So the plant will absorb more. So how long have you been in this business? I've been in our culture. I used to do sweet potatoes, sweet peppers, oh. pine up, um, Watermelon, but now I specialize fully in pineapple. In pineapple, so I've been plant. I've been in our culture from. I can remember that I am alive. Okay. Yeah. And it's a blessing. Yes, I mean, even though I am still employed because I have a full-time job. Yes. yes. But I tend to work late in the evening just to see what is happening. Okay. And if you plan properly, organize yourself. You know, you get maximum output of those who you have in your employ. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, this basically 
This farm, it is located in Evergreen, yeah, Manchester. Manchester. Just below Mile Gully. Just below Mile Gully. Yeah. And you... And we, we are very, I'm very close to the river, so we to use the river. the river for irrigation. For, yes. Yes, and the pH, the quality water is... Is, is okay. It's very soft. So. Okay. Okay. It's okay. So we irrigate the pineapple from the river. Okay, yeah. that's nice. Oh, yeah. And the farm is very nice. The farm is very nice. Yeah, we'll and you know, I, I I really admired this farm um for some time now and I said I would want to come and you know yeah. have a look at it and you know have a little interview with you and this interview is nice. So mm -hmm. what do you have to say to the customers out there now and well, the marketing? The 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 customers all I can say that it is always advisable to eat a lot of pineapple we are in a pandemic now and it says that pineapple is good um develop your immune system yes so eat as much pineapple as you can mm -hmm. and um the md2 when you eat it once you will not stop eating it yes um we have our challenges uh we have a you, you, when you're in our culture you know that yes you have um uh drought sometimes yes if you have irrigation you have a little predal arsenic but what we do is to plant a lot yes so the teeth can get a little to eat too. okay yeah. okay okay <laughs> yes man that is yeah. good that and is good have, i try to have a uh a community based relationship yes which is which so is very good they are very protective of the farm i mean you you to try to integrate the community in what you're doing. Yes. Now the guys who work with me are from the community. And if you have excess, give it to the community. Yes. So the people realize that you are kind to them and they will be kind to you. In return. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another, the last question I want to ask is, um, when, when you, have you, have you ever had a bad day on the farm every day <laughs> <laughs> okay okay when they, when they have DVDs, you, you have bad days and good days okay you, know, you have you have right now when you look at the cost of inputs like fertilizer yes we use a lot of nitrogen to yes plants up quickly and a bag of urea now costs one thousand three hundred dollars okay and you're using a whole lot every 14 days plus other micronutrients. So it, it's costly when it comes on to the production. But if you get the pineapples to the size that you really want, which is five pound size, okay. you should be able to survive. And you said the biggest pineapple you have ever reaped is? About 10 pounds. 10 pounds. Yeah, yeah. And the smallest okay. one about one pound. Oh, okay. It shouldn't be. Okay. Because <laughs> we, we try to get. Like the best quality size, yes. size, and how much average. per pound do you sell um, we sell pineapple on average of about a hundred dollars a pound which is very reasonable yeah which is very for reasonable some people might be expensive for some people it's reasonable yeah but um, due to your yeah, your input you put you put out in the so. yeah, all right mr mackwell thank you for your interview thank you for visiting the farm yeah. and everything so mm -hmm. take care of yourself no and problem. all the best you go for the customer yes sir all right take care hey guys thank you so much for watching guys please remember to like comment share and subscribe and thanks for watching again <laughs>